I do work out. Yeah, you do work out. I do too. I don't. I do too. <laughs> you, yeah, you don't. It's <laughs> worked down to me. I just don't. <laughs> Oculus Rift. We spent the last year ah, the working pink eye on box. building developer kit too. <laughs> the what? The to pink eye box. Are you it's touching your pupils to with the screen? To to be. <laughs> yeah, and that's developers. Oh, that's how you move the, the camera around. So, yeah, DK2 has a variety of different but screens. Screen screen around and comfort then, and presence. Yeah. The sense of presence you wear in the washroom. reality is something fundamental. So I kind of put this off for a while covering this because like, I had a chance to see it at PAX. I had a chance to see it at press at PAX one year and I turned it down to my regret. And then since then, because it's like kind of an open source small company, they've never really released any trailers that really like. I don't know. This show that robot was playing it. Yeah, yeah, that was weird. Robot plays video games. That's the story. The thing is with this show is if the, if media isn't there for me, then it's hard for me to do stuff because I have to put effort in otherwise. <laughs> so anyways, but the other thing is that there's just never been some great game trailers to show off what people are doing with it too. And what developers have been working on it, Minecraft's been integrating it, um, a whole bunch of other stuff. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? A billion dollars. You're going to get left behind. Now Facebook owns it. Facebook bought the fucking Oculus Rift. Really? Chat room I remind you that you don't need to jump on the news before I reveal it to the crew. Um, I love that you permanently destroyed this video. Yeah. Well, it was the only footage of Mark Zuckerberg I could find. Yeah. Um, and now I want to just uh, follow it up with another movie trailer. MySpace the movie? Oh, fuck, yeah. This oh, Tom's back? God damn, all over the TV. <laughs> What is this? Becky's been getting freaked out by this. I watch it like crazy. Because if I don't watch it, I'll be terrified. There's a mirror! I've missed my Is that Oh, I don't think so. Oh, there's Mikey. Of that. He is Mikey. What the fuck is How going on? apropos that it's called Oculus and that it's a horror film and that Facebook just bought Oculus and now to their horror, two days after buying the fucking thing. Dun, dun, dun. I'm confused by the news. <laughs> <laughs> Sony comes out at GDC, it might give or take a day, I forget oh, really? how many days it was, but it was like almost, it was like Zuckerberg buys Oculus Rift because Four. he doesn't understand how patents work. The Oculus Rift doesn't have any patents that oh, like really? tie it down to one company. For any like other company can remake dollars. it for like a billion bucks. And then Sony comes right out and is like, yeah, you knew we were yeah, working we, on this. We've been doing this, right? <laughs> People have been rumoring this forever. What? Do some fucking research, Zuckerberg. I don't understand why he blew that much money on it. It makes that no is sense. That's crazy. Yeah. Two billion. billion. Though, you know, Billion! You know, yeah. That's a lot of money! But it, to oh. be fair, a lot of that money was uh, Facebook stock, which is going to be like toilet paper yeah. soon. But... <laughs> Ooh, well, it was announced. Especially if he keeps that. on spending the money like he is. Yeah. If he's sp spending his, his war chest on fucking things like Oculus Rift, which is nowhere near mm. Facebook's game plan. That doesn't make sense. He needs to what, Farmville with, with uh, Oculus? Elon Musk. <laughs> Apparently, sit down yeah, with that guy. Elon yeah, Musk really, yeah. have yeah. a powwow. Yeah. Apparently, this was announced before the transaction. Oh, took was place. it? Okay. But still, like, what the? But fuck? um, it, it was hard for us to understand because not only that, but there was a lag before we got this footage too. Because GDC happened, and then like a few days later, yeah. they actually released this. Mm. So it was being tweeted about and stuff, but it wasn't really covered until. <laughs> Anyways, you gotta love Shu though. Yeah, Shu Yoshida. And uh, actually. Uh, I have the actual unit here. Some of you might have guessed where it is. It's in my pants. <laughs> it in your pants. <laughs> let, me, let me show you. It's gigantic. You <laughs> <laughs> may only wear for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> for next map. <laughs> it's a sleep mask. Pause for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> They're so different from Microsoft. Yeah. It's particularly exciting. Sorry, I forgot the slides. 
Pokemon. You never would have thought Sony too. would be the Pokemon. unbutton their shirt yeah. company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what the hell? And um, what's coming next? Something which we believe will push the game industry forward. Since the early days of video games, the industry has grown by leveraging technological advancements to create new experiences for game players. Experiences that people maybe were not expecting or didn't know were possible. Wait, it's covered again. Yeah. Well, I just kind you. of rewound yeah. so that you could hear him talk about this and the reveal. Oh, we are. And everybody kind of knew that this was coming because it's been rumored for quite a while. You knew this was coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> you knew it too. It's the next innovation from PlayStation. These are photos of me trying handmade VR headsets put together by Santa Monica Studios people sitting. Santa Monica here. Studios, the God of War people. They made PlayStation The left stars. hand side photo was taken back in fall 2000. So they've been working on it for a long time. They duct tape wow. PS Move controller on a low res viewer called Headplay. The right one was in was March first 2011. Pack? Yeah. Fall they used yeah. Sony's HMZ personal 3D viewer, which had a higher resolution. And they hacked God War 3 into a first person view arena battle demo, where I became Kratos. <laughs> and uh, here's a short video of that demo. Uh. So anyways, I think I've gone on the record before on the show. I should have vlogged about it, though, because for a long time, I felt like, even without using it, that this is the future of, like, if anything's going to be the new big next thing, yeah, this is it. Yeah. Fuck 3D on your TV. Fuck yeah. that shit. Yeah. Until yeah. it looks clear as goddamn day, nobody's and gonna like it. Yeah. The fact is, as long as you can, their biggest challenge is getting affordable, um, affordable screens that small in there for high resolution viewing. <laughs> yeah. Just give it, you know, time like all technology. Yeah. And it's as long gonna happen. Yeah. as long as it's high resolution, it's going to look clearer and more beautiful yeah. than anything you could put up on the screen. And eventually, movies will be maybe even just dark rooms that you go to. Yeah. Like feature films, and you put on glasses with mm -hmm. high resolution. You take them off, and everyone's got their pants off, <laughs> <laughs> and they're fucking all over the. So much jizz on your face. You're the this only one watching the movie. <laughs> You're the only one watching the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyways, um, virtual reality isn't new, but finally the the technology is caught up to the point where it's really becoming comfortable, light enough to wear on your head, mm -hmm. and high resolution enough to actually enjoy. And that's the big, the, the reason. And the biggest thing also is latency. And that's oh, a big yeah. thing that's a part of their, like, um, uh, trying to bring down the latency with your movement. The so other thing a, with uh, the uh, Oculus that, I, or whatever this is called, that system mm -hmm. that they need to work on is um, people with glasses. Because I think oh, there's Shadow oh, yeah. yeah. who had to take off his glasses well, when some he tried of them it on be, last pack. Uh, once they come to market, they'll probably have prescription adjustment knobs like yeah, or yeah. not knobs yeah. but even like yeah, settings like type it in and it'll change yeah. the prescription for you yeah. who the fuck knows what their prescription is though <laughs> i guess then you're fucked <laughs> most well, I do. I do. <laughs> learn it four eyes things you know two <laughs> years ago on ps3 and actually the More coolest kids. thing Thank about you. the demo was when i looked down i saw my body was that of kratos oh that's cool <laughs> that was empowering experience as you could imagine. So <laughs> <laughs> He's the best! The Pops next video <laughs> we showed in public, actually, so some of you might remember. We uh, think some of us here remember Tatura, yeah. the game. Um, yeah, I don't remember this, though. No. This being yeah. shown, uh, the virtual reality. Maybe it just went by Often stuff like this is shown at E3, like where somebody's on stage doing yeah. something crazy and you're like, all right, yeah, I'll believe it when I fucking see it. Yeah. Kind of thing. And then sometimes it just... Was this at E3 or was that a... This looks like an E3 stage thing. But, um... Uh, piggy. Big butt. As you can see, the technology that's different about this headset as opposed to the Oculus. The Oculus uses, um... Uh, fucking. By the way, this was gyroscopes uh, prototype oh, made in Whoa. 2012 by the SCEA. That's a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> and yeah. you can tell 
they wanted to make the tracking extra accurate. Um, so... Head tracking? So Oculus uses accelerometers and gyroscopes, I think. I, correct me if I'm wrong. But I see nothing else on it that could be, it could be. Whereas this is going to use, you saw the, the, this is called Project Morpheus. The thing he unveiled has two glowing bars at the front. So it's going to use the same technology that the Move has been using for a long time to track where you are. So um, I guess you're going to have to be within sight of an eye for it mm -hmm. to work. And that's how it differs. And that's how these pat Oculus does have patents, but like all patents, a slight adjustment yeah. can make an entirely new patent. But this so one's pink. Apple technically <laughs> owns its own Oculus patent right now. They added a um, vitality sensor to the side. And suddenly it's a new product. Mm -hmm. So like, that's the thing. That's why Zuckerberg, my criticisms stand. It doesn't make sense. Two billion could have started his own company yeah. and made his own, pat he could have patented yeah. a separate one that's slightly different yeah. as well. He didn't need to buy. It's two billion dollars. Yeah, you can do a lot with two billion dollars. You can do a fuck lot with yeah. two billion dollars. It just doesn't make sense that he did that. It, Where are his advisors? I would be worried. Yeah, seriously, I'm surprised he it, has the spending authority yeah. still. Yeah. I would be worried if I was a, a, a Facebook investor. Maybe it he just, wanted the name recognition? I think that Maybe. soon he's going to be like, um, he's going to be trying to be Richard Branson or something, sending rockets up to the moon, <laughs> except less successful. He's going to burn the company into the ground or something. I, he got John Carmack. That's a good point, Stealth Oblivion. <laughs> John Carmack, creator of Doom, is a big guy, wow. a big head behind Oculus. He joined their, he was a big proponent of it at the beginning, then he joined the team, they hired him on. So he did get John Carmack. That... For two billion? Not, whether John Carmack's worth two billion, I'm not yeah. sure. I'm sure John Carmack's not getting paid two billion. <laughs> Gotta keep coming back to the two billion. I'm sure yeah. <laughs> Let's just hope Carmack, um, that his salary when he was brought on to Oculus was, uh, had stocks, like company interest. Mm. Cause then he cashed out, like, you know, he, He's in a good spot right now. Yeah. And Carmack is a genius. He's fucking With amazing. all of that history, I'm thrilled. Good to point. Thanks for bringing that up, guys. Project Morpheus, a virtual reality system for PlayStation 4. So, anyways, don't get my um, my my negative Zuckerberg stuff to like mean that I'm against the Oculus. I hope the best for both yeah. the Oculus and the yeah, Morpheus. Yeah. I want them both to push each other to the limits. Differences, Oculus is open source. Mm. PlayStation mm. dictates yeah. what's on its Morpheus. So like it's they're not as as much competitors as they are like I would say the the <laughs> Oculus will be like the stepping stone to the Morpheus, you know, but like I would say the Oculus will have more things on it and the Morpheus will just end up, you know, with PlayStation things. But anyways. <laughs> this is the culmination of our work over the last three plus years or to realize a vision of VR for games and to push the boundaries of play. And this prototype is by no means final. Oh, another good point. You think Facebook will keep Oculus open? Isn't one of the laws that dictate open source software and hardware that it must remain open once it's so. open? No idea. I thought that was like one of the things about its user agreement. All right. And we will continue to work on this to improve, but we believe it's a good representation of Coker how water, PlayStation will deliver VR. And as we were working on this project, we have seen passionate and talented people at companies like Oculus VR and Valve introduce their prototypes and share learnings on this exciting technology. I forget and where it goes from here. I know I wanted to show something else though. And we were inspired and encouraged by the enthusiastic reactions by developers. Oh, this. The, this by is by just such a class act, what he does right here. We tried their prototypes. This shows how all of us as an... Oh wait, I think I just skipped it. <laughs> Listen to what he says here. Here, here, here. Introduce their prototypes. Representation of how PlayStation will deliver VR. I skipped and it exactly. As we were working on this project, we have seen passionate and talented people at companies like Oculus VR and Valve introduce How many their companies that come on stage and, and admit that there's competition yeah. next to them? Exciting technology. Developing with them. Mm -hmm. 
I have an enormous Microsoft would ignore that anything else them. exists out there. <laughs> they would. <laughs> or they, they, they could touch whatever they're doing. Yeah. And encouraged by the enthusiastic it's just think he respects them and yeah. is encouraged by them. Try yeah, their it's fucking classy. Yeah, that's awesome. This shows how all of us, even if he does go backstage an and like becomes completely evil after, <laughs> he's still putting up a good yeah. front. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to push gaming forward. Yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, look, it's, this is a six-hour show and trailer. I ha it's rough around the edges. <laughs> I tried my goddamn Need best. Need a little bit more polish in here. I, I had to cut out so much stuff last minute to get it down to time, and so let's keep it moving. I'm not even going to go to commercial break.